Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna if you're new here. And in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a Q&A. Get ready with me. Um, I'm not going to be going over each product that I'm going to be using, but just remember everything that I use in today's video will be linked down below, so be sure to check that out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this Q&A. So I first want to go ahead and start off with some basic information, kind of like an introduction, just in case you don't know this already, but my name is Brianna. I'm 22 years old and I live in Charlotte, North Carolina at the moment not really exciting but whatever but the first question that someone asks is what is my zodiac sign and take a guess just guess and see if you're right I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to go ahead and get your answer and don't cheat either okay to answer your question I am a Libra I'm an October Libra at that so my birthday is October 5th um, I was born in 2000 so yeah, I'm a 2000s baby, which is like super duper funny for some reason. I have to do my brows really quickly. I don't know why I can't talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. So we're just going to go ahead and get these out the way and then we can start back. So my brows are done. Right now I'm just blending out the concealer, but I got the hard part out the way. I don't know what it is. Like whenever I talk into my eyebrows, maybe they just come out weird. So... I just had to be quiet for just a second but the next question that someone asked is how tall am i i'm 5'3 i'm a short girl i don't know why some people think i'm like a little bit taller based off like my photos because i don't think i photograph tall at all but some people just think that i'm super duper tall and i'm not i'm short so the next question is how do i pronounce my instagram name and what does it mean so, here's my Instagram name. It's right here. But the way I say it is Breeding Bro. And I came up with that name in high school because I don't know about y'all, but I had like 10 different Instagrams. Like, I don't know why I had so many accounts. I would literally delete them and then just make a new one. I don't really know what that was about. Yeah, I just had so many names that were like so childish and so weird. And I wanted something that would just kind of fit and I could just have it and keep it for the rest of my life i don't have to change it anymore so my instagram handle is basically the first three letters of my first name middle and last name brie for brianna dan for danielle and then bro for brooks so brianna danielle brooks brigham bro that's literally all it is it's not rocket science but i know if you don't know me you're probably like girl what is this it's my name i'm really nervous about my foundation shades because I don't know if they're gonna match so we're just gonna see but regardless if it matches or if it doesn't i know it's gonna come out right so we're just gonna hope for the best because this tan i don't know if i have a shade for it so i already answered this in my little introduction but someone asked that i live in north carolina and yes i i do live in north carolina i'm from north carolina i'm from a small town called warrington north carolina no one no one knows where that is it's such a small rural town but i went to school at unc chapel hill so i lived in chapel hill for four years and then last year i graduated so i moved to charlotte in july so i'm coming up on a year since i've been in charlotte um but yeah i do live in north carolina and another person had asked do i see myself moving i don't know if they mean moving out of state but i'm gonna assume that's what they mean but I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Um, I'm not going to say that North Carolina is like the best place in the world to live, but I feel like I'm pretty comfortable here. I haven't really contemplated about moving out of state. I don't know how I feel about that yet, but I've also never really been anywhere that kind of felt like I need to move here or this feels like this could be my home. I've never really gotten that feeling anywhere and I've been to a lot of different states but nothing's like really calling out my name if that makes sense so I'm not opposed to it but it's just something that's like not really on my radar right now and I kind of just want to stay close to family and friends even though I feel like I'm already kind of far away by being in Charlotte but for right now and in this stage of my life, I feel like I'm comfortable with where I am, but I'm not opposed to moving. I don't know what the future holds. So the next question is, what is something that people don't know about you? Mm, I feel like there's a lot of things that a lot of people don't know about me, but I feel like the most shocking thing to a lot of people is that they always think I'm an only child and I'm not. I hear all the time that I give only child energy, which I don't really know what that means, but... 
I can see how I don't act like I have a sibling, but it's probably because I have an older brother. We are four years apart and we are literally like a night and day. We're the complete opposite. So we don't have similar interests and he does live out of state as well. So of course you're not going to see him in my videos or you're not going to hear me talking about him. Plus he's a boy, like, you know, I could see how people would think I'm an only child, but I don't know how only children act. Like, are you basically saying I just get main character energy? Because if so, I'll take it. Aside from me having an older brother, guess what another freaky thing is? We're four years apart, but we have the same exact birthday. I'm just gonna give you a little family tree history, okay? So, twins, a low key run of my family. So, buckle up, write it down. My grandma on my dad's side, she is a twin. She has a twin brother. And she didn't have any twins. She had three kids. So she had my dad, my aunt, and my uncle who passed when he was younger. But guess what's freaky about that? My dad is the youngest of all three kids. But him and his older brother are four years apart and they also have the same birthday. Just like me and my brother. Isn't that kind of weird? My aunt, which is my dad's sister, she ended up having twins. So I have two twin cousins who are like literally the exact same age as me. My dad didn't have twins obviously, but he low-key kind of did because me and my brother are four years apart, just like him and his brother. And we have the same birthday. And then another thing that's like really popular in my family on my mom's side is that everyone has the freaking same birthday. So a lot of people share my mom's birthday, which is February 2nd. A lot of people share a lot of birthdays in April or May, I can't remember, but I literally have like five cousins on my mama's side who has the same birthday as me and my brother. Like I could literally give you three people right now. So that's five of us all together that I know of, that I know of, who have the same birthday. So yeah, girl, October 5th is just a popular day. I feel like that's pretty interesting though, because like, what are the odds? I feel like that's pretty cool. So the next question is, have I found my purpose? And if I did, how did I find it? I really can't honestly answer this question because I feel like I have so much more life to live and I'm still so young, like I'm only 22. So I feel like one of my biggest purposes is to help people in a sense and just kind of like build a community. I don't know if that's like so cliche or not. I don't know if it's giving life coach. I don't know if it's giving content creator slash influencer. I don't know if it's giving just a business mogul. I don't know. I feel like another thing that's like really hard about trying to find your purpose when you're such a multifaceted person is that I have so many interests, so many different things that I'm good at. So I'm just really trying to hone in into my religion and spirituality just so I could kind of get the answers that I need. Um, and not to mention, I'm still super young. I don't have to rush and figure everything out. So whether I'm helping literally or just helping people with their mindset or inspiring you to just live life and chase your dreams or just be you, I don't know I feel like I'm kind of living in it but I just need more direction I need more guidance on what exactly my purpose is but I feel like for what I'm doing right now I feel like I'm doing pretty good so I don't know it's a very hard question to answer but I feel like that was a good one so the next question is how many tattoos do I have y'all I'm not gonna lie I'm tatted up it may not look like it but I've got quite a bit of tattoos I think I'm somewhere in the teens if I'm not mistaken last time I counted I had like 14 yeah, I had like 14 tattoos. Um, I could have more, but a lot of things I've added to, so I just count them as, as one. Like for instance, my hand. I got my cuticles and my butterfly first. You could count that as one tattoo, but I just count my whole hand as like one tattoo, if that makes sense. But I will show you everything right now, but I'm not gonna lie, I do plan on getting a lot more tattoos this year. I've been thinking about doing like a tattoo tour at the end of the year. I feel like that'd be really dope just to showcase everything. And then let's say hypothetically, I get more tattoos throughout the year. I kind of do like a updated tattoo tour, if that makes sense. So. If that's something that you guys would be interested in me making um, after I add or get whatever else I want, let me know in the comments below because I don't know, I love tattoos. And I know y'all didn't ask for my opinion on tattoos, but I feel like a lot of people look at tattoos like, mm, like you're not classy or you look trashy now. 
maybe it ain't the tattoos it's the type of tattoos and the quality of them i feel like for me i spent a lot of time thinking about placement which is super duper important and then also like just figuring out what it is that i want to get there's sometimes where i'm pretty impulsive and i may get something but i feel like it's still some logic and reasoning behind it even if it is kind of like a effort type of moment but me personally i don't get any and everything that's just like not my cup of tea I like all of my tattoos to flow and just be cohesive, so girl, you could be tatted up and still be classy. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I have so many tattoos, and I don't know. I feel like people don't look at me differently or think I'm trashy, and if you do, I don't really care. Because I know I am the opposite of that, so next question. Would I ever get work done? Let me go ahead and preface this. I do not have any problems with people getting work done. I don't judge people. People do what you want. Do what makes you happy. Even if you feel like you need something done or if you don't, it's up to you to decide ultimately. Will I personally get work done? I honestly don't want anything crazy. I feel like I take a lot of pride in being like a natural beauty. And I feel like me getting work done will like compromise that or it's just so easy to get botched nowadays or to even like just what happened to Jackie O like she literally passed away getting a cosmetic surgery the more I do research the more I see like sometimes the cons are just not worth it in my opinion will I ever get anything done super serious to my face such as like a nose job or whatever no I'm very much happy with my features I feel like I'm very naturally pretty I'm super blessed that I'm confident in the way that I look and how it makes me feel. So I feel like there is nothing that I would absolutely change about myself. Now, would I like to do something just for shits and giggles? Yes, but I don't know. I don't want to make a, dis a permanent decision based on how I feel. And also, I'm only 22. If I do get work done, I want to wait just so the rest of my brain could develop. <laughs> So talk to me when I'm 25, but right now I'm like, mm, I'm, I don't think that's something that I'm interested in. I have contemplated getting my lips done because I do have smaller lips, but it doesn't bother me. I'm not going to speak for my 40 year old self, but hypothetically, if I were to finish having children and let's say I want a boo job, baby, I want my perky titties back. Maybe I'll get a mommy makeover. It depends. It really does depend. But I'm not 100% against it. But I'm also not 100% for it for me. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Don't ask me for no validation or what my opinion is. Maybe I don't know. I'm very indecisive. But right now, I can tell you in the next couple years, I don't plan on getting anything done. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm very happy with the way God has made me. So... I feel like if a lot of people just learn to just wait and be patient and just grow into their features, you may actually end up loving yourself or you may actually get the, you might grow into your looks if that makes sense. I feel like one thing I don't really agree with is like girls who are my age getting BBLs. Baby, you might get grown women fine, fill out in the right places by the time you're 25. Like, you're not even done growing or developing. Like, save your money. Just go shopping. That's what I would do. Next question is, what is my favorite drugstore and high-end foundation? Hmm. I don't really use drugstore anymore, um, but if I had to recommend something to you guys, I would say Maybelline Fit Me. I don't know why I used to use that. Like, it was no one's business. I literally stopped using it in, like, 2021, which was, like, pretty recent. So, Maybelline Fit Me all the way. Their shade range. And it's such an easy foundation to work with and not only the price point is amazing too now when it comes to high-end i haven't really tried a lot of high-end foundations but the two i have tried baby i have loved my two favorite high-end i would say um foundations will most definitely be the nars like reflecting foundation chef kiss i don't really have much to say about it she's just that girl and then the next one, I use this on all of my makeup clients, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I love them. I love them both because they are super buildable. So it's like, if you're going for something natural, you could get that natural look. But if you want something full coverage and you want to be beat down, you could get that look as well. So those are like my top three foundations, drugstore and high-end lines. So yeah. Okay, I feel like we're just talking, so let's go ahead and finish this makeup. Someone said, what are your tips for taking bald pictures? 
Speaking of pictures, I really need to get on Instagram and post. I don't know what it is with me. I just, I haven't been in the mood to post. I don't know. I have to, I'm speechless because I really have no excuse as to why I don't. Because I have so much time to just get ready and take photos. But I just feel like when I'm just in, not in the mood, I just, I try not to force it. But that's just besides the question. How to take bomb pictures. The most important part about taking photos is you don't have to pose. I feel like I'm naturally like photogenic, so it's not really hard for me. But I know for some, it may take a little effort, but I'm gonna tell you guys how I like perfected my picture taking skills. You need to look in the mirror. You need to look in a full body mirror and you need to look in the freaking mirror. You really need to see how you're gonna be looking if you were to be taking photos. Practice poses in the mirror, try on clothes in your room, like just try them on and just practice different poses. And also look at other girls' Instagrams, not like in a stalkerish, weird way, but just get some inspo. You're like, oh, I really like this pose she did. Let's see if I can recreate it. Of course, I don't want to copy her, but let's recreate it. Let's see if I can add my own little personal touch to it. So that is like the very first thing because if you look uncomfortable while you're taking photos, trust me it's gonna show once you feel like you kind of got the hang of it then we can go ahead and move to the next step the next step is to figure out what it is that you're going to wear okay and now what you're going to do is practice posing in the outfit that you're going to wear every time i wear something and it's like kind of risky or i haven't worn it before or whatever i practice posing before i leave the house like i'll throw it on i'm like okay this might be cute with this outfit or mm, you know do a little one too. That's how you like kind of get familiar with your outfit so that way when it's time to go take pictures, you're not looking like a deer in headlights. Like, I don't know what to do, you know? So after you practice your poses and then practice posing in the outfit that you're gonna wear, you're then gonna go ahead and buy a tripod. We are graduating, okay? You earn your tripod right. <laughs> so you are gonna get your tripod. I'm gonna have the one that I use a link down below. So what you're then gonna do is you need to practice taking photos now if you do good on the first try and you want to post them post them but if you're not too comfortable literally just get dressed go out and just try to take pictures one thing i can say for beginners is to work with easy locations if you aren't very comfortable posing in front of a lot of people or where it may be crowded i always opt for parking garages or parking decks usually there's not a lot of people there um, it's very easy to work with because there's a lot of steps, there's a lot of blank walls, there's a lot of open areas, there's a lot of, you know, like the top floor part so you can see like a nice view. You have a lot of different options to choose from so you kind of just want to scope out locations that is going to be very comfortable for you but also it kind of matches the style of what you're wearing or your aesthetic I should say I don't really use them I don't really like using that word so just play around with the different angles take some photos in point five take some close up take some back you know back the way or super far away even when it comes to editing your pictures you just want to play around with everything and just see what it is that you really like um, that's literally one thing that I used to do. If you do not have a friend who could take your photos or someone, all you need is your tripod and you need the app lens buddy. I never really had anyone to take my pictures or if they did, I would just be upset because they all came out ugly. But I had a vision of how I wanted my pictures to look so I made my vision come to life. So yeah, just download lens buddy and just get the snap in. I can honestly say that with time you're going to get better, you're going to get more comfortable. When I first started taking my pictures, they didn't look anything as to what they look like now. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm not even trying to bluff. So you just have to practice. Okay, so another question is what is something that I like to do in my free time? Baby, when I'm free, I like to do nothing. But I also really like to spend money. I don't know what it is. If you leave me alone or if I'm quiet or I don't have anything to do, baby, I'm looking online for something that I don't need. I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to get better with like picking up hobbies. Even though I feel like I'm good at a lot of things, I feel like sometimes I lose interest very quickly and then I just don't want to do it ever again. I love trying new restaurants. I love just eating. Food is literally the key to my heart. Lately, I've been really enjoying doing my own nails. Um, so... 
So if you haven't checked out my nail vlogs, be sure to check those out. Yes, I did these myself. I do my nails myself all the time. Um, ever since I graduated college, I literally was just looking in the mirror like, who the hell are you? I feel like eventually I kind of want to take tennis lessons or I kind of want to learn how to play the piano or I kind of want to learn how to speak another language, you know? I feel like there's just so many things to do because that was like my biggest struggle with myself. It kind of put me into a deep depression. But after I graduated, I did not know who I was outside of me working and me being a student. I literally was like, I have so much free time and I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I like. It's super hard and I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm only a year post-grad. I feel like content creating, having my own business, and then doing my nails on the side. Like, I feel like that has kept me busy enough. So the next question is, what keeps me motivated? I feel like the biggest way to stay motivated is to be delusional. Be delusional about everything. I feel like that's how I've gotten so far or how I just do so well in life or how I seem like I have it all together. Babe, I'm delusional. Even if I don't have it together, y'all will never know because I'm just that delusional. Like, my ideology behind being delusional is that no matter what I do, I'm going to excel in it. I feel like there's no room for error or for failure when I believe in myself so freaking much. And I feel like that just like literally just keeps me motivated. I have this idea that everything I touch turns to gold. I literally excel in everything that I do, regardless of what other people think or how I'm actually performing. Baby, I'm doing great. I feel like in this lifetime, you kind of have to be delusional because if not, you're just going to let everything and all these outside factors just really block your blessings or really just put you in the slump and i'm not going for none of that i used to be that person one time ago but i feel like my whole life i pretty much not really cared about what other people think and i just always had this like confidence no matter what it is and if it really helps you if confidence is something that you don't really have a strong suit in you just maybe get competitive i mean you can't compete with me because i don't compete but i know for a lot of people competition is like what really keeps them going not me though because i'm in my own lane so you can do you next question someone asked what made me start a youtube i've always been the friend my whole life to record every single thing that i did on my phone if we had a crazy night out or something insane happen you can count on me to have video footage of it not a picture a video just whole commentary whole everything and i remember an old friend she told me like i didn't even realize that she said this but it was like a couple like years ago like my freshman or sophomore year of college she was like hey like you should really start a youtube but i literally took it with a grain of salt but what really confirmed it for me was when i went to cancun in mexico and i was just recording and posting everything and people were just eating it up they were enjoying it baby and i literally just posted on my close friends i was like if i started youtube like would you guys watch it and everyone was like hell yes yeah. so i was like okay period the next month my boyfriend got me a camera and i released my first youtube video if you scroll down and check i think it was like may or june but i had went to mexico again with my friends for their birthday so that's literally why i just started i was like hmm, i feel like this is something i'm gonna be really good at everyone have faith in me because i have faith in myself and that's just literally like kind of how i started it but i like to look at youtube as like my online video diary like i get so nostalgic sometimes when i just watch my old videos just to see where i was the things that i was doing the people i was hanging with the memories that i have it's just all right there and i'm just so happy and grateful that i have a youtube to just have everything in this one spot if that makes sense but that's like the most amazing thing everything that i have is at hand like literally with the click of a button i have all my memories right here all my milestones all the errors i went through like it's all here so i feel like that's one reason why i really do love youtube and i'm gonna stop talking real quickly so i can do my lip liner this is like kind of like a nudie color in my opinion but this is the nude truffle lip liner by nyx love her and maybe I should darken it a little bit because it's low key giving like one second. <laughs> okay, so the combo for today is brown by NYX with their NYX butter gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. Is it Fortune Cookie? Yep, it's Fortune Cookie. So now we're gonna set our face. <laughs> Key kind of like wet my nose. We're fine. You look good. <laughs> Period. So yeah, this is the glam. This is like my quick one too. Yeah, I feel like it looks super duper good. I feel good now that I did my makeup. 
period i feel like this concludes my little chit chat q a video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any additional questions that you may want to know about me or you want to ask me feel free to message me or just leave a comment below i'll be sure to get back to you guys um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video First time in a long time. Why